Okay, fight fans, welcome back to What to Watch and When to Watch It. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. So this week, like every week, I'm going to use thefightnetwork.com, great TV station, even better website, for our information. Going down Thursday night, PBC on ESPN. We've got a solid fight between Sergei Deryachenko versus Sam Solomon. Youngsters undefeated, he's facing a serious veteran. Sam Solomon is no joke. Thursday night boxing, thanks to PBC. Friday night, the WBA Super Bantamweight title is on the line. Adam Lopez versus Roman Reynoso. Uh, there's a couple young fellas on here that I'm interested in. Uh, Jimmy Williams is 11-0. Uh, Pitts is 12-0. Fooster is 8 and 0. Oh, it's Foster, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy Doom versus Julius Jackson. Now, Julius Jackson is coming off a loss. I like this guy. I like his personality. I want nothing but good for this guy. Julius the Chef Jackson. He's got a famous father, but we've talked about it before. It's a solid night of fights on Friday. Also going down on Friday, kickboxing. Glory 32 in Norfolk, Virginia. Kickboxing, folks, it never, never fails. Even if you don't know the names, you're going to walk away knowing a couple. Look at this card. You've even got uh, female fighting here. Uh, it's a solid night of fights. Make sure you look out for it. Glory 32. Now, also going down Friday night, we got Bellator MMA 159. That's a solid card from them. Uh, as you can tell, lots of guys that I don't know fighting but like I said this is a great way to get to know your fighters you never know what you might end up seeing um, as far as the main MMA card is concerned Melvin Gillard still fighting I don't know if I want to see this but it's happening so here's hoping uh, nothing too serious as far as injuries go Bellator 159 Going down also Friday. This is Rising Promotions coming to Atlantic uh, City. So, uh, basically, no one you really know. But, I mean, they're a solid promotion. They put on good fights. If you can find it online, it's not a waste of time. Going down Saturday night. UFC on Fox 20. It is live and free. Home versus Shevchenko. I know how to say Shevchenko because that's a main street down here. Um... Uh, Listen, this is a solid card. The UFC has 400 plus fighters on its uh, roster. It's just hard not to make a card worth watching. Trust me on this. Um, Eddie Wineland is 21 and 11, but uh, I've seen this guy fight and I really like him. Kaylin Karen, that's right, she's part of the family, fighting Felice Herring. Uh, we've also got Edson Barboza. He's fighting Gilbert Mel Melendez. This is a solid fight. Gilbert Melendez is tough as it comes. Edson Barbosa is just a highlight reel. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular fight. I'm sure of it. Now, the main event also going to be great. Why? Because Holly Holmes going to be coming back off her loss. Hopefully to throw her name in the ring to fight the new woman's uh, champ. She is fighting Valentina Shevchenko. Herself, not a joke, 12-2. She's got a really nice pedigree. I've looked into her. I suggest you guys do too. Next up, it's going to sound funny, but Super Fight League 50. They're in America, people. It's time to start looking them up. This is an MMA outfit that started out of India. Uh, they did things differently, and I looked at it just for that simple fact. Great way to get to know some fighters. It's going down in Tacoma, Washington. Super Fight League 50, look out for it. Also going down Saturday on NBC. PBC brings you a great night of fights. Now, this one, I'm going to bring up something. I, not a lot of people are talking about this, but I thought it was interesting. Fabian Maidana here is a young undefeated fighter and also brother to Chino Maidana. Famous for fighting and having a great fight with Floyd Mayweather. He is going to be fighting Masonette Jr. here. Uh, it's a solid, great night of fights. All these guys, you know, everybody's under 10 fights. Uh, except one opponent here who's uh, close to 20 fights. But nobody's 
nobody's a big star yet so this is a great great card to look for and it's going to be live and free on NBC last but not least it's pay-per-view I I don't know if they're going to actually make some numbers on this I hope so I hope the diehard fans come out for this because the guys in it deserve it anyways I don't know about the promotion but it is what it is HBO in Las Vegas Terrence Bud Crawford versus Victor the Iceman Postal it's a beautiful fight if this was a boxing after dark, this would be a fight that everyone would be talking about. But they put it on pay-per-view. And, you know, when you do something like that, you try and stack the undercard. Now, listen, I am the undercard king. I love undercards. Always surprises and, and stuff to learn. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not against this undercard, but I don't know anyone. Jose Benavidez, I know. He's 23-0. Can't really say... You know, he deserves necessarily... You know, Boxing After Dark would have been great for this guy. Uh, also, Matthias Carlos Adrian Reda. That's right, four names. Known as La Cobrita. Basically, Small Cobra. He's 26-0. and 0. He's fighting Oscar Valdez. Again, solid fight, people. He's 18-0. and 0. Solid fight. It's for the vacant WBO featherweight title. <sighs> Like I said, I wish it was Boxing After Dark. Victor Postal is undefeated. Terrence Crawford is undefeated. 28-0. Somebody is going to get a loss. It's a great fight. I hope you guys tune into it. That's it for me this week. Make sure to check out my other video, Manny's Thoughts. I give you a wrap-up of last week's news and this week's news. Check out thefightcity.com. Do not be shy. We will reply. So go ahead and hit us up. We'll be more than happy to give you some answers to questions or uh, just joke around or even talk about uh, the impossible world of the fight world. Now, uh, last but not least, folks, like, share, subscribe. That's it for me. I'm dead tired. See you guys next week.